This is Advisorpedia at Insight, and we're here with Rick Denon. Hi, Rick, how are you? I'm very good today, how are you? Good. You have a personal experience with succession planning and execution. Can you, can you share that with me? It's a company that uh, the business I started 20 years ago next Tuesday. It was, uh, it was a finance company that started lending to insurance agents, and I ran that business through three financial sponsors. And uh, in 2015, we sold it to a strategic. And uh, as part of that process, um, we had to document succession planning. And it kind of was a realization of, you know, maybe there's an end to this after you start your own business. And um, you don't think much about it. You think you're going to work forever. But after seven years of being with that strategic, so June 30th of last year, um, I turned the, the, the presidency title over to Alicia Chandler, who was with us for 12 years, and then prior to that, she was our counsel on the outside as a partner for, uh, for a law firm in Indianapolis. And uh, so that transition occurred about a year ago, and it's going very well. So last night you flew in, and there was a meeting between another partner, and, and you weren't there. Yeah. How, how did that feel? It went right through the heart. It hurt. <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding you. Um, it is great to see, you know, that transition of, you know, people taking on new leadership roles, new opportunities and things like that. But, you know, as I was flying in, I, I texted him and I said, you know, are you guys at the hotel? We can meet up for a, a drink or, you know, kind of, you know, preface what's going on at the, uh, at the conference. And they're like, oh, we're at dinner with one of our vendors. And I'm like, well, that was a vendor I set up, you know, 10 years ago, and I'm not there. Why, why am I not there? But, you know, it's those types of things that have occurred in the last 12 months where meetings occur, decisions get made, you know, new opportunities arise, new loans get closed, and you're like, those are things that I did for the last 20 years. And you don't want to say you're not needed, but you're super proud of the people in the management team and the fact that they can continue to operate the business effectively, you know, continue to focus on our employees and the development of the employees and also the customers. And that we've been, last year we grew 27%, which was a great thing. Um, but getting an opportunity then to come back to these types of conferences, you know, here at Fidelity and seeing all the people that have helped, you know, get the company going and people that have been partners with me for years has, uh, it's, it's just a, it's a different view as you look at things uh, versus being the one that you feel needs to be driving the business and you know making success happen. So you, you plan for this for a while. What advice would you give to other business owners planning for this this set to happen for this succession? I think the generic answer would be plan ahead. <laughs> you know, um, but what I think you you really need to think about deeper is. Um, kind of the emotional side of it as we talked. Um, for, for me to be able to say, I'm turning it over, they're going to make decisions, which is exactly what I told them to do and want them to do. You know, the, the, the phrase was, it's better to ask forgiveness than it is permission. And that has played a big part of our organization for a long time. But I think the other piece of that is for the person that you ultimately choose to succeed, you know, to perpetuate the business, they need to be prepared mentally as well. Uh, that it's going to fall on them. Um, you know, there's a little bit of stress that goes along with that and ensuring that customers are happy, deals are getting done. You got a lot of moving parts uh, that are required to make a business successful. So I, I think it's those two, the emotional side uh, of, the, of the leader and, you know, the, the mental side and the mental preparation of the person that's going to succeed you. Well, you picked a great successor. Yeah. So thank you for being with us today. Yep. Thank you very much for having me.